In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and with your spirit. My dear friends, we join once again in the spirit of prayer and the great thanksgiving of Jesus in this Eucharistic celebration, strengthening ourselves with the hope that we find in Jesus. So let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, asking the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy, Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful rule, and that your church may rejoice untroubled in our devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. Let us praise illustrious men, our ancestors in their successive generations, while others have left no memory and disappeared as though they had not existed. They are now as though they had never been, and so too their children after them. But here is a list of generous men whose good works have not been forgotten. In their descendants there remains a rich inheritance born of them. Their descendants stand by the covenants, and thanks to them, so do their children's children. Their offspring will last forever their glory will not fade. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips. This honor is for all his faithful. The Lord takes delight in his people. Alleluia, alleluia. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, to go and bear fruit that will last. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After he had been acclaimed by the crowds, Jesus entered Jerusalem and went into the temple. He looked all round him, but as it was now late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. Next day, as they were leaving Bethany, he felt hungry. Seeing a fig tree in leaf some distance away, he went to see if he could find any fruit on it. But when he came up to it, he found nothing but leaves for it was not the season for figs. And he addressed the fig tree, May no one ever eat fruit from you again, he said. And his disciples heard him say this. So they reached Jerusalem, and he went into the temple and began driving out those who were selling and buying there. He upset the tables of the money changers and the chairs of those who were selling pigeons. Nor would he allow anyone to carry anything through the temple. And he taught them and said, Does not scripture say my house will be called a house of prayer for all the peoples? But you have turned it into a robber's den. 
These came to the ears of the chief priests and the scribes, and they tried to find some way of doing away with him. They were afraid of him because the people were carried away by his teaching. And when evening came, he went out of the city. Next morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree withered to the roots. Peter remembered, Look, Rabbi, he said to Jesus, the fig tree you cursed has withered away. Jesus answered, Have faith in God. I tell you solemnly, if anyone says to this mountain, Get up and throw yourself into the sea, with no hesitation in his heart, but believing that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. I tell you, therefore, everything you ask and pray for, believe that you have it, have it already, and it will be yours. And when you stand in prayer, forgive whatever you have against anybody, so that your Father in heaven may forgive your failings too. But if you do not forgive, your Father in heaven will not forgive your failings either. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we face another challenging times in our life, in our community, let us always hold on to the strength that we draw from Jesus in our faith, especially in our prayers. Our hope that we find in Jesus, also through our actions, that we will overcome this challenge again. We will see each other again, and hopefully, our own responsibility Let's do our part to um, follow whatever needs to be followed so that we can emerge from this great challenge. Let us pray. My prayers are always with you so that we may one day see each other again and enjoy the normal lives. We will emerge because Jesus is with us. In our prayers of faith, let us now appeal to God for all our needs. That the leaders of the church may teach God's people to obey God's commandments of lo out of love and not of out of fear. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be faithful to the command to love God and to love our neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are walking in the darkness of sin may find inspiration and courage to live up to the demands of God's commandments. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may never neglect the sick, the old, the lonely, and all who suffer in our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the dead may find eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, listen to our prayers and guide us always to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received. The wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name and count our oblations as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask for your mercy that what you grant us as the source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you and all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we do extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray together to the Father and the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I now invite you to take this moment to pray the act of spiritual communion and also for some moment of your personal prayer. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us continue to pray for one another. Let us hold on and strengthen our faith in Jesus as we find in him the hope in this, during this challenging time. Join me once again for our online Mass as we continue to pray this Sunday at 10 a.m. And together, our prayers will certainly reach God's ears and we will emerge from this challenge. So my prayers are always with you, especially with the community here at St. Michael's in Ashburton, and also the uh, St. Mary Magdalene's Parish in Jordanville. My prayers are always with you. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.